going on, trucking junkies? We're here at Weyerhaeuser. Stinking robocalls. I hate a robocall. I don't know what this uh, lift driver here is doing, but okay. Well, we got to park here in the front, so we're going to go do a loop de loo here. Then we're going to get out. They let them load us. Okay, so we're waiting to get loaded. Uh, they've got me in the in the hole right at 10 o'clock. Not bad. It's it's 10:06 right now. Uh, <clears throat> this load is going to Indiana. I ain't get the truck washed. But anyway, this load is going to Indiana uh, for tomorrow. So the first thing I'm gonna do is when I get out of here is go find a shower. I need less than eight hours to get there, so. Y'all. Yeah. <coughs> and it's a no tarper. Check that out. Can't beat it. long board man mm. big long boards
we're done, let's go. I am being unloaded. Sort of. There he goes. He had to move a bunch of stuff to get my stuff off. Uh, this place is tight, man. It is really tight. Hold on a minute and I'll show you. Get these windows down. There we go. You can see in the mirror back there. Look at all that stuff they got back here. See it? Mm. I'm between two dumpsters. <laughs> That's where he said to park. <laughs> but anyway. <clears throat> uh, but uh, yeah, so we're going to get this uh, unloaded and go find us something different. Maybe get home tomorrow. We'll see. That's a big long board. It's actually a laminate, just like those right there. All right, people, we're out of here. I gotta back all the way up over there. Which way? Or maybe not, maybe I can go through here. See, these are the things you gotta figure out when you're trying to pull out of places that are very tight. Uh, if I go in there, I don't know if I can get down to the back way. <clears throat> I guess I'll back it up. I saw another guy back it up between those two dumpsters back there. We'll see. Let's get out of here. Okay, I was told that I can go this way. That it leads back around to the front of the building, so. Ooh. It's just tight. You just take it slow when you're in these tight areas like this. It's basically idling around the everything. And I'm sitting at three miles an hour right now. And you gotta really make sure that you're looking at you know the poles and everything else that you've got going on we made it get out of here <laughs> 